Hello and welcome back to Airport CEO. My name is Jordan and this is Haya Airport. Um, in the last episode we finished off by putting in our new shop area for the um, large aircraft terminal and in this episode I want to kick it off by putting in our cafe area. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing. Um, just taking a look around to see if there's anything going on. Everything seems pretty quiet. You're sitting there waiting for an airplane. Uh, this kind of bugs me. I do need to address that at some point. Um, so getting into it, um, one of the things we experienced in the last episode was dangerous baggage. I got two, two issues with dangerous baggage. Um, speaking of which, I never looked at how much fines we were charged. It was 5,000, 5,000, okay. Um, anyway, so I, I did do some research. I, I checked into uh, other videos, other uh, suggestions, other guides. Um, however, it doesn't seem like many people, like there hasn't been recent videos with the um, newest changes so like the emergencies update that that's only been around for a certain amount of time um, so yeah there, there's been some changes to the core elements of the game that have affected those guides that are now out there so um, anyway the, the setup that I'm using especially this setup this is one of the most widely used setups for security so it comes in hits the first tier of scanner and if it's rejected it goes through each of the second tier scanners and if it's rejected it goes to the third scanner before being destroyed so this is the most common setup um, for this for the large aircraft I changed the setup to make all the bags go through first and second tier and if they're rejected they go through third tier uh, before being destroyed however this is the setup that's, that just cost me ten thousand dollars and airport rating and all that nice stuff so definitely something going wrong here um what i'm thinking of doing to fix that issue is i'm thinking of putting a third tier security checkpoint at the first line like the first stop is third tier if it's rejected it goes through these guys and then if it's rejected, it goes through third tier again just to confirm before being destroyed. So basically what that would look like is I would be putting in a third tier right here, basically about here. So I'm going to do that. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. So this is going to change things a bit here. Um, I don't really want to disrupt the system too much, but I don't really see any way around it. I'm just doing the, like a bypass right now to the system. Um, this is for the stuff going to the baggage, uh, the baggage claim area. So I don't really want that to have any problems uh, while I make these changes. So I'm just gonna bypass the system for now with that. And once that's built, I will remove, um, I'll start making changes to the system.
I just had a thought while waiting here. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, like look, the security guy just left. Um, so any bags that are going through this. Oh, it's still being checked even though the guy's not there. Oh, okay. Never mind. So that's not an issue. I was thinking that it's a problem when there's nobody there, but... Okay, so... Okay, so I'm going to remove this belt. Hopefully not a lot of bags get affected by this. Here comes the contractors. Okay, cool, so... Okay, so yeah, what I'm thinking is to have a third tier here and then this is the f basically the first line of defense, although... Yeah, you know what? That's, that's exactly what we're going to do. So, um, every bag is going to go through third tier. Um, sorry, I'm trying to wrap my head around this as I build. So, um, I want them all to go through third tier, first tier, and second tier. So, and then third tier again, just to confirm before destroying the bag. Um, okay, so I think what I'll do then is I'm going to shift everything down. So, because I want the third tier to go at the last spot here. Um, so that all the automated scans go first. Um, okay, so I'm gonna remove this, this, remove this underpass. This is gonna cause some problems. I'm removing this one because I wanna put the third tier system there first, or there instead um, so the one that I'm removing there what is that one uh, looks like the money scanner so I'll make sure I put that back in definitely challenging to have to do this uh, kind of changes when the system's still open and operating. But 
hopefully there won't be too much. Uh, oh, that's what I wanted to prevent, but okay. I want to get rid of the bypass I built. I'm just waiting to make sure that everything gets built correctly here, everything works again um, before I leave this alone because I don't want there to be any major issues, but I'm pretty sure the security setup is going to do well. Um, I mean, there's no reason why it shouldn't. It's literally, every bag literally goes through every single tier, so, um, and then it's double checked before destroyed, so. Oh my goodness, really? FA-767 That's a medium flight So before it was just large aircraft, the large aircraft that were getting them, but that was a medium flight Okay, so the system seems to be working. Don't like that this is not turned the right way, but that's fine. Okay. Cool. Uh, I just want to ch double check. Oh, it's already reset. I was hoping to see how much sales they did in the last day, but it already reset itself. Um, okay, so can I make those changes over here now? Yeah, so this system was the older design, so um, I'm going to go ahead and change this up. Mm. I'm actually going to get rid of a lot of this. I want to replace the belts and make them high speed as well. Although I don't think it really matters during the scanning process, but um, definitely think it's worth it to start upgrading the belts in this area because they're all using the slow belts right now, except for the lower section. Um, but all the original infrastructure is still the slow belts. Okay, so this is going to be a problem for a little bit. Um, just while we get this system up and running.
would like to move this back a couple spaces. There's gonna be a lot of upset people because uh, I'm sorry I gotta I gotta do this. I want to upgrade these belts. I'm gonna leave these ones alone for now. Okay, let me just check the number of contractors we have. Um, let's increase that. Get this stuff built. Okay, I'm just waiting for these two to be removed. Um, looks like the contractors are working on the system there. Okay, those two are removed. Let me put them back.
Okay, so I'm just gonna move the tilt tray over. Um, basically, I, I, I'm just upgrading the system. So I put in the uh, the slower conveyors at the start. So now I want to upgrade them all. So that's what I'm doing. I'm taking this opportunity to do that. Oh, this tilt tree is actually messing things up. Perfect, so that should conclude the changes here. Let me just make sure these are... Okay, yeah, those are right, those are right. Everything else is working fine. Okay, and... Yep, so we're just waiting for this part of the system to be fixed, and once that's done, everything will start moving as it should. Here comes the contractors now to finish that up. Perfect, so 
that's that. Um, the next thing, let's go back over to the large terminal and I want that to get that cafe in place. Um, how big did I make this? 18 by 14, so that's what I'm going to do over here. 18 by 14, like so. It actually looks like that one's 18 by 14, 18 by 14. The spacing's different. It must just be because everything's backwards. Um, oh well, it's fine. Um, I could make it slightly smaller. Uh, the reason why is because I'm noticing that there's two two squares here between the hedge and the seating and if I was to make it the same size there's only gonna be one square in between um, so I'd rather keep it consistent like that so let's do it that way move the windows while I'm at it um, now let's take a look so I don't have any four stars um, I can do this this three star cuppa uh, it's 41% airport cut um, rent per hour is 1015 yeah I'm gonna do cuppa I think that's gonna be the better one and okay so that needs six display fridges How do I want to do this? Okay, just putting some stuff in for aesthetics here. Um, And I'm just going to put the seating in, um, these bar stools. I feel like this is going to be a little bit too crowded there, so let me let me change this a little bit. Um,
Okay, I think that works well. Um, so I'll leave it at that and just gonna put some flooring down. Uh, we also have to fix that wall with the windows. There we go. So once that's built, I'll get the uh, I'll get the cafe in place. I just want to take a look at the other cafe down here. Okay, I didn't put... I, I want to take a look at the modular seating. Oh yeah, okay, these ones are working well. Cool. Alright, so I should be able to sign the contract now. Um, Yep, so Kappa. and it's open for business and all kinds of people are coming already holy actually it's a lot of people basically the entire terminal decided they wanted to have coffee at the same time mm, okay so I think we could probably Let's look at our research. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and research the restaurants. Let's see if we can get that going. Um, okay. But yeah, having a restaurant over here would be a good call too. So let's see if we can make that happen. This is insane. I've never seen so many passengers lining up for coffee before. Oh, and they're closed for the day. Do they have logos for... Her? I think they do. They do. Oh, that's cool. Mm, I think that's overboard. Awesome, so that's pretty cool. We were able to get that up and running. Mm, what's next? What is next? So, we could, uh, we have tons of money, like, oh my goodness, like almost two million and there's, that's not because of a loan, it's all just naturally, uh, naturally earned. Actually, we paid back our loan. We don't even have a loan anymore. So we have a very healthy cash flow going on here. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade this runway. Actually, I just remembered something. I started out this series thinking that I would be paying attention to uh, the introduction 
uh, tutorial. I've totally ignored this thing since the start. Let's go back <laughs> and see what this is telling us to do just to make sure we've gotten everything that we need to. So patrol routes. Yeah, so this is something I totally ignored. Um, you can create security patrols for your security personnel as well as the police cars. So this is telling me to go ahead and make a security patrol. Uh, I'm just going to make one really quick. You know what? I think that's all I'm going to do. Yes, because it says delete a patrol route by clicking on the the X icon and then click on one of its nodes. Boom. So that one's done. Um, I do want to keep a security patrol though. I think that's something that's good to have here. So let's go ahead and do that. Mm, I'll actually take it down into the underground. Okay. Kind of a long patrol, but necessary. Um, there we go. So we have a full patrol of our medium small air aircraft uh, terminal, and I need a police car patrol. Let's do that. I could actually do a loop here because I now have control position is not valid. Oh, is it because I'm on the second floor? It is. Awesome, so now I have a police patrol as well, so you'll see there's the police car, it's heading out to p do the patrol run, and that's cool. Um, I could actually, I don't know if it's useful or not, I really have no idea, but let's buy another police car and maybe they can it, rotate, like one can be doing the patrol and the other one sits in the depot, I don't know, it seems like a good idea right now that I thought about it. So. Um, all right, so build a bird strike prevention system device. Okay, I haven't done that yet. Let's do it. Put one here. Um, Was all that red that just came up? I have no idea. Um, okay, so yeah, let's upgrade this runway to concrete. We'll add the approach lights as well. Um, PAPI lights, I don't really know what these do, to be honest with you. I think they, I think the planes use them to line up to the runway. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just stick them there on the end of that runway. Uh, we could also upgrade this one to concrete. Uh, we could upgrade, uh, convert runway ramps, yes. And I should do the same with this one. All right. Purchase at least one stair truck. Okay, this is a little bit just because we have we didn't follow it before. It's not saying that we've done it, um, but we used to use stair trucks back in the day. I'll just get one really quick, 
I mean, we have the, the income to support uh, just having it sitting around anyway, so it's fine. Do, do, do. It's just zooming through. Ooh. Okay. Where are we at? Okay, you know what? I'm not following this anymore because it's now telling me to do airside shuttle. It also wants me to do uh, boarding desks. Yeah, no, not happening. Um, definitely recommend using the tutorial if you're starting out for the first time. It's totally useful. Uh, it, it, it will definitely put you in the right direction um, to get started. Uh, for us, we're already way ahead of this so we're just not gonna look at that anymore I thought it was a good idea at the time <laughs> uh, clearly I was mistaken so let's okay so oh you know what I think I still have medium flights happening here don't I I think there might be some books still yeah there's some here I was going to disable medium flights landing on that runway, but I'll leave them for now. Okay, so I'm going to keep upgrading our taxiways to asphalt, or concrete rather, not asphalt, from asphalt to concrete. Cool, so that's pretty much it. Um, just gonna upgrade these roads as well. And we're fully concrete. Except for, I see right there. Uh, that's awesome, so, okay. Um, and did that upgrade, or research rather no it's still in progress so um, I hope to be able to put a restaurant in in the next episode um, definitely something I want to look into doing uh, I've never done it before so it'll be interesting to see how that goes uh, for sure and oh yeah okay so these guys are definitely meeting their sales goals I didn't really doubt it but just uh, just wanted to double check because they closed really quickly uh, the first day that they were open, but they're, yeah, they're booming. Mm. These guys, not so much yet, but I mean, like, it's only halfway through the day and they're pretty much halfway through their sales, so I guess they're doing well too. Alright, so, I think that's it for this episode. Um, definitely check back for the next one. Like I said, I'm probably... I'm going to be pursuing uh, putting in the, the restaurant um, after this research is finished, quality kitchen restaurants, um, which should be interesting. We'll, we'll, I'll be uh, learning as I go. I mean, I, I typically am learning as I go anyway, but yeah, definitely with this one, I'll be learning as I go because I've never done it. Um, same with the other researches. Like, I, I've done aircraft cabin cleaning once before, but I have never done catering service or de-icing permit, so it'll be interesting to see uh, how those go as well. Um, but yeah, so there's definitely things to look forward to. Um, we should also be looking at maybe buying up these tiles, maybe expanding the terminal some more. Uh, we have tons of availability for flight capacity. Well, I say tons, we're using half our capacity right now. Um, I don't know if the I can get more than 200 a day I have no idea, but it would be something I would like to try out and see see how it goes. I don't know. Let, let me just uh, plop one of these down, another one, and see. Uh, so in the next episode, we'll see if 
if uh, our capacity increases to 400 by having two ATC towers. Um, but yeah, for now, thank you so much for watching, and uh, I'll catch you back here for the next one. Take care.